Paul the Handsome and Herring here in I left Chahula Chahula or Wula Chahula, Romario's house, probably about 20 minutes and meandered trying to get to the ocean. And I ended up in some kind of industrial complex with uh, all sorts of weird stuff going on, training and uh, shipping and all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. But now I'm at the gas station and I just had to share my sticker shock with you. And this is a, this is a good price. Look at that. Look at that. Six dollars and thirty-nine cents per gallon here in beautiful California. You guys better rethink this place. Ooh, ooh, I concrete it up and leave. I, I don't know. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. But gas is on. And actually, I'm listening to the news, and they say that the citizens of uh, California are uh, a lot like Flint folks getting a, a water credit. They're getting a gas credit and they're trying to give everybody who paid their 2021 taxes $300 or maybe $3,000, I can't remember what the amount was, to help uh, them with their taxes or with their, with their ga this high gas prices. With that said, I'm going to fill her up. It said I was down to 61 uh, miles an hour, but I also looked up and I saw that this place offers car washes. And that posed the question, what do you do with this? If you know, <laughs> hit the comments. 810-239-2901, 810-239-2901. You want to get involved with public access television? You want to do what I do? We're looking for clean programming for the radio station, WFOV 92.1 LP FM Flint. 810-259-9785. As always, there'll be more after this. So here's the other thing. In California, they have a, uh, a vapor recovery set up on all the gas pumps. So as the vapors come out of the gas, this little thing sucks them up, right? But also, you can't pump gas until the switch in this is triggered. So, this gas tank doesn't trigger the switch. So, you have to literally hold this cup up, and I'm probably breaking laws doing it, in order to pump gas. Yeah. know if I'm confused or amazed. Now, I saw the back of this place first, and that astounded me. And it wasn't until I pulled around front that the back kind of made sense. And I'm going to show you the back. <laughs> Definitely going to show you the back. Listen, I'm just puttering around uh, trying to get downtown Seando, uh, Seando. San Diego the slowest way possible. I don't want to get there early and I don't want to get there too late. I'm going to try to be right in the middle and uh, uh, do this twist. But until then, I'm going to share what I see with you, all right? There'll be more after this. Oh, hey, look, that's my sister. Hey, Nicole, isn't your dad supposed to be here? He's coming, he promised. I trust him. Show time, guys, one minute.
capture your future at Mott Community College. All right, guys, amazing. It appears that they have just taken over the impound lot. The guys came, towed their stuff, and then um, they just came and set up, or maybe they set up in, in unknown stuff. But what an amazing way to make a disadvantage an advantage. And then we got behind us here, this. And, um, my best guess, and uh, you guys are smarter than I am, is that this is like the desalinization byproduct from them trying to create clean water, or maybe, I don't, they don't salt the roads out here, there's no need. So it looks like salt, and it looks like a, um, a saline pool there, but I don't know. If you guys know what it is, let me know, all right? As always, if you wanna get involved with public access television, give us a call. 810-239-2901 that's 810 hey man what's this place called This is new for me. I have never been to a Jamba. Is it a Jamba, Jamba juice? It just says Jamba. It doesn't say juice, but it says Jamba. And I got what they call a white gummy. <laughs> and I know I'm not gonna pronounce this right. An Akia, a, a, how do you say this? How do you pronounce this? What is this? What's this called? Acai. Acai. Yeah. Uh, acai bowl. And I guess I'm gonna call this breakfast. It's got everything but an egg on it. And uh, this, I guess, it said peach juice, uh, pineapple juice, uh, grape juice, uh, orange sherbet, or uh, I'm ready to try. It. Hold on. Now. Oh, that's really good. Now the question is, is it good for you? Is this natural? I might get some. See, I never learned how to sip things. I was, I'm, a, I'm a guzzler. But I think I'll do this slow so I can try this thing. Now this, I kind of had earlier on the trip, but I let it melt, so it's cold. And whatever's on the bottom is, uh, I guess, a sorbet or a, a sherbet. But look here, look, look. look at this. Look at that. We got bananas, blueberries, strawberries. Ah, I'm assuming that's coconut, and I don't even know what those little golden things are. Um, I'm about to find out. So I'm gonna put my glasses on. What is it? Honey? That's exactly what it is. It's honey. And coconut. And there's granola down here. Alright guys, I'm about to tear into this and um, I don't want any witnesses. So, as always, there'll be more.
11 years to get a slip here. Wow. Yeah, 11 years. And then all the slips on the other side, that's the Coronado Yacht Club. Okay. Uh, that's about a 25 year waiting list. And that, that's just wait to, to buy the slot. To get a slip. So they were waiting for somebody to die and rotate this, but don't the children inherit the slots? Um, like yeah. one over there, it's crazy. And 11 years to get one over here. Yeah. Is that normal for marinas? No, this is special. This is special. Yeah, you can, you can go find a, a, you can go find a slip over at Shelter Island or Harper Island. Uh -huh. Or um, um, America's Cup Harbor, which is kind of in the middle of those two. Okay. They did buy a slip there today. Um, but everybody wants to be here. And the difference and in price between there and here? Not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, yeah. just a big waiting list. Yeah. So what do you do while you're waiting? Um, I live in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been, I've you sat in Texas for 11 years waiting for this? No, uh, I have. That's I had, brilliant. I had another boat uh -huh. over on uh, Point Loma. Okay. Um, uh, that, that, and I sold it because every every morning I'd get up in the morning and talk to my wife and say, what do you want to do today? And she'd say, I want to come over here. It's a special place. Very different. So uh, good. Yeah. All right, where's the best coffee shop then? Um, yeah. uh, all the restaurants are kind of up on Orange Avenue. Okay. Uh, there's one on the right-hand side. Um, if you want to um, spend uh, uh, a lot of money, you can go over to the Hotel Dell. Okay. Um, but I'd recommend going up uh, there's Panera Bread, there's a, uh, uh, there's a, uh, uh, Quickers, uh, there's a couple of places. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. your time. Well, all right, good people. Paul, the handsome one, herring you here. And let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you what this is. But this is, this is owned by the city, guys. These slips are city owned. And a gentleman I just, oh, that, well, there's City Hall right there. That's City Hall. And the gentleman I just talked to said that the A dock, the B dock, and I think he said the C dock are all owned by the city. And then there's another bunch of them on the other side. That's a 25 year waiting list. A 25 year waiting list to get a slip here on this island. Well, what? I don't even think. I guess it's an island. It's just, it's just a, like a sandbar. It's not, it's not a mile wide, two miles wide, maybe. Yeah, but it's long. It's long. So um, I've come to the conclusion that I'm doing it wrong. Well, let's say. I'm not doing it right yet, okay? I think this is the life I should be better. <laughs> what do you guys think? All right, there'll be more. As always, man. guys I made a wrong turn I was trying to find the convention center I convinced myself that parking in the ramp was worthwhile it cost me 30 bucks to park yesterday anyway so I made a left and a right and a right and a left and I ended up down here man this is where they get on the cruise ships 
I'm gonna go see how much it costs. I might not be coming home. Where's that one going? <laughs> I don't know that I care. Yeah. I'm not going, but I thought I'd share my uh, my mistake with you. What a wonderful accident. All right, there'll be more after this. cosplay just a little better. It's all about uh, the detail of the costumes and I guess making it look as realistic to the character that they are um, emulating. Who knows? But I have found my sunset spot, man. This place is beautiful. Let me let me show you. Hold on a second. Yes, indeed. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Good people. <laughs> Listen, 
Paul the Handsome One Herring here uh, with a, a special opportunity for you. Uh, actually, that was given to us. YouTube has invited us to participate in the sponsorship program. So they are, have set up uh, some kind of system to allow you guys to support the channel. Uh, there should be a button down here somewhere. Join, support, sponsor. Uh, click it. Let's <laughs> see what it says. Uh, I, I want to assure you that all the content that we always do uh, is still going to remain free. You don't have to be a sponsor or a supporter to enjoy what we do here at Spectacle Productions. But you can be extra appreciated if you do. All right? Down here, join, sponsor. <sighs> see what happens, all right? Um, we're also considering starting a new show for those that do choose to sponsor, and we're calling it The Meeting After the Meeting. And we'll allow you to be guests and hosts and help come up with the content and not maybe make you a star. I do not know. All right. But rest assured, I'm enjoying the life I'm living just until I can live the life I'll enjoy. And your support and our sponsorship will get us even closer to that. Remember, there'll be more, as always, after this. And, and after this, this is your life. Go out and live it. Peace.